In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install SMS Studio for Windows. And uh, to begin with, we go into Google and find this uh, uh, link, SMS Studio Forum. Search for it and it opens up. And this page and, and through this link, we go into the SMS Studio website, which is put together by the author. And we go on to download SMS Studio. And then we scroll down a little bit because we want to get this stable version of SMS Studio. There are some uh, nightly builds if you are um, um, curious enough, but with this one should work for most of applications. This date from April 1st. We click in there and we go into a uh, web page where the author, Mr. Andrew Ivashov, has put together information about the software. You can click in any of these links to get more information, but at this point we're just going to scroll down and find the entry that says download. In here there is two links. The first one is for Windows, the second one for Linux. We're going to stick to this one for Windows. Click on it. It asks us what we're going to do with the file. Let's save it. When we save that file, it goes into... Um, I had downloaded a previous version. So, let's just use this one. It goes into your downloads um, page. You download folder, sorry. Double click on it. Say next. Accept the terms in the license agreement. For everybody if you want, or only for me if that's the case. I'm going to do it for everybody. I'm going to ask that uh, SMS Studio puts an icon in the desktop, in the Start Menu Programs folder, and the Quick Launch Toolbar. Press Next. This points to the place where the software is going to be stored. Then press next and press install. Ask it to verify the installation. And the installation takes almost no time. And then here we are going to just launch the software from me. Actually, I'm going to click this off and say finish. And then in my desktop, I'm going to find the SMS Studio Desktop uh, link, double click on it, and that opens up the software. It starts loading the plugins. It takes a little bit, not that much. And then you get the interface. This interface has a lot of um, a lot of uh, menus, as you can see right here. And it has also these panels with mathematical information that you can use in putting together your documentation. Just to show you a quick example, I'm going to go to Help, Examples, and I'm going to open this broad load, beam load calculation bearing with two supports. It's a document that has been put together by probably the author or some other contributor, and it shows some calculations for uh, civil engineering. I just wanted to point that out and then with that we end up this particular video.